to like parties right or did y'all get invited to parties i don't know anyway i got invited to parties and i'm born you know born and raised in dc so my father my mother you know what i'm saying she was very protective over me especially when i was tiny tiny so when i got to like almost getting a little older where you know I, my father picked me up and take me over to his mother's house and my aunt and all them over there right so my father be like man i can't leave her with you know because my father know my mother gonna have a fit let me slow down and talk it my father know my mother would have had a fit if anything happened to me, right? So, um, she'd be like, go ahead, I got her, my Aunt Alice. I got her, I got her, you can go ahead, do your thing, come back, you know, come back, so I got her. Alice would tell me, Steph, get in the bed and just pull the cover up to your neck so when he say goodnight, you know what I'm saying, don't get all the way undressed, just pull it up here, we're gonna put your night clothes on, I will have my clothes on, right? So. I mean, you know, I have my clothes on under there, but I just have it up to the neck. So like, good night, he be like, you better take care of my baby. Like, okay, take care of his baby. As soon as he probably couldn't even get out the door in the hallway, she be like, come on, let's go, let's go. And me, I'm like, I don't care, cause I'm with my heart. We great, do something funny, right? Or something good, right? Man, before you know it, we done went over to one of the other buildings. They got a basement um, blue light, red light party going on, right? That's how DC used to party. You go in the basement buildings, they would be up in there partying hard. The blue light be on. You be getting it right. One nation under a groove. I used to be getting it. And people around there knew I was Red's daughter. You know, don't touch Red's daughter. I was Red's daughter. So they would like give me like a little corner on the floor and I'd be in there. Hey, hey, I was getting it in, right? That leads me back to invitations. All right? Here comes Steph B Speaks. Here comes Steph B Speaks. That leads me back to invitations. People will send an invitation to you and it's in the invitation of something that would trigger something old in you. And what I mean by that, it can be an argument. It can be something that triggered how you used to be back in the day. Because I know several people, including myself, all that emotion has been built up and you're trying to smile and be like, nah, that's back in the day. I ain't, you know, I'm not even going to let you pull me like that. We're not doing that. That stuff builds up. And for those, especially those who are strangers to send me or people that I know like that, uh, that type of invitation, you don't know what mindset, and I'm gonna say me and we, you don't know what mindset we're in to take us there at that time. So we, meaning me, when you send that invitation, I gotta determine whether I'm going to accept your invitation. I got to determine whether I'm going to show up or not. Because, see, there's so much of a greater calling on my life now. To you sending me the invitation, I may look like that chick or she a punk. She ain't going to do nothing. Thank you. I appreciate it. Because, really, your word of mouth and your talking and your argument, and because you're miserable, it's not going to pull me there. It's called controlling mindset and controlling your emotions. Yeah, it's hard, I'm gonna tell you. Because everybody knew. I used to have a serious quick temper. You can blink an eye like this. I was like, what? Without hesitation, I didn't care, okay? But now, the me and me, the deliverance God has done in me, has grown so much that even though it may, it may trigger something, it's up to me whether I'm gonna accept your invitation and come into your world. So y'all remember out there, because I got to go. I always got to go. Yes, I always got to go. Because when you're dealing with different entities and you're on a mission for God, ain't no sitting still. You may get one blink of an eye. You see these bags under here? You may get a little blink to sleep or whatever, but it's called you got to go. So I got to go, but y'all remember, all right? 
y'all remember, you don't have to accept every invitation that you're invited to. Pick and choose which one you're going to show up for. I love y'all, okay? I got to park this car. See my mask? This by Jack the um, JAC Designs. He be pushing all my stuff, see? He keep me straight. I got to go. Yes, my OCD is here. I match on everything. Got to go. Love y'all. Have an amazing day, okay? Because I will. Smooches.